to our morning devotion. Yeah. And our God, we thank you once again for this morning. This was a very, very tremendous, great works of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ. Good morning, brethren, and praise the Lord. This uh, wonderful day that God has given us so that we rejoice in him. My name is Reverend John Mawasi. Above all, I'm saved. I love the Lord. It is a great opportunity to share with you from wherever you are that God is good, that God is faithful. And I want to share with you this morning being the 19th of January, and I would also say Happy New Year. Praise the Lord. Psalms 34, number 8, Psalm 34, 8 says, All tests and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Test and see that the Lord is good. By saying test here, it doesn't mean that you come to see and test the credentials of God. It simply means an invitation to the Lord. It's a, an invitation to the Lord and it means that you come and test and you'll see and you like it. Come and see, and you like it. You will surely like it. God never fails. Just come and see. Just come and test. Many have come and see, and they have seen that the Lord is so good. Are you there and you are frustrated? Are you there and you are desperate? Come. It, has, it is a call that you come to the Lord and test. Lord is good, is faithful. Just cast your burdens unto him. The Bible also, in Psalms 46, the Bible says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed. And though the mountains be carried into the midst of sea, the Lord is our refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. Come and see. Come and test. Test this God. So please come. Let's come together. Let's meet together. The Bible says do not stop fellowshipping as others have done. Do not stop gathering. God values when people come together. And that's why he says, come, let us reason together. Come together and fellowship together. How great it is and how good and beautiful it is for brothers to dwell together in harmony. So it is a call and invitation. Come and see Test and see that the Lord is good. Are you there and you want to experience the power of God? Just come. Let us gather together. Let us fellowship together. There is where God has promised a lot of blessing. When we come together, it's like fire that is put together. The firewood that is put together is put together and it will rekindle, it will come up in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because you are good. You are a faithful God. You are calling us with a lot of confidence that we come and test you. Lord, we come and see you because you are a faithful God. You never fail. People of the world 
may let us down, but you are a faithful God. We want to experience your love. We pray also for those who are there. They have never made a point of testing and seeing how good you are. You are good in giving us good health. You are good because you are Jehovah Rapha. You are good in giving us provision because you are Jehovah Jireh. You are good in seeing us through, even in our difficult situations. We commit our lives unto you. I pray for those who are far in their homes. There are those who are sick. Lord, stretch your hand, send your word of healing unto their lives. We bless you because you are God and we commit ourselves unto you. We commit our families unto you. Blessed be your name. We want to see you. We want to experience these good things that you have in store for us. And these things we pray, trusting and believing in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So we welcome you, brothers, to join us in our prayers, the week of prayer for Christian unit. Today is day two, whereby we will be praying for the mission of the church, mission of God, the mission day. This mission, God is using us to continue with the mission in the salvific history, in the propelling of the gospel. We are praying for the mission we are praying for the effectiveness of our teachings and preachings. We are praying also for the effectiveness of our pastoral visitations and outreach. But in concurrence of the prayers, we join the whole world in this week of prayer to also pray for the poor and the marginalized. We also pray for the jobless. Yesterday, we began our week. It was the first day. We also prayed for ourselves, our families. We also prayed for the marginalized and the oppressed and the needy. So, brothers and sisters from within and without, brothers and sisters who are far and near, join us. We take advantage of this week to join the rest of the world to pray and commit this year in the hands of God. Thank you and God bless you.